Let's talk about live video streaming and how it works. Now, this is a process in which live video is broadcast over the internet for viewing by audiences all over the world. And while this may seem simple enough, there's actually a number of steps involved to ensure viewing opportunities are maximized while keeping the optimal playback experience in mind. It all starts at the camera, where frames of video get captured in real time as a continuous video signal. Now this signal contains gigabytes of raw data, so to make it more manageable for a network, an encoder compresses it using codecs. Gigabytes are squeezed down to megabytes, and then the encoder packages that into a protocol like RTMP to send over a network to a media platform. Playback devices can't unpack RTMP. So, a platform like Wowza Video takes that stream and transmuxes it, repackaging it into multiple protocols which can be played back, depending on the device. Now, for this to work, the contents of the package may need to be converted, such as transcoding it into a new codec to accommodate protocol requirements. The contents might also be transrated to create multiple renditions at different bit rates for adaptive bitrate streaming. Content can also be transized for different screen resolutions, thus optimizing itself for the playback screen and also useful in reducing the bitrate. Now, the stream often flows through a content management system. This CMS allows live video content to be stored as video on demand, then managed and sorted for viewing later. Other management tools may also analyze both live and on-demand streams to ensure any problems are noted and resolved. From there, a global content delivery network assists in scaling distribution. CDNs offer servers geographically closer to end users, and this lets viewers consume video at almost the same time it occurs in front of the camera. Utilizing such an expansive network also helps accommodate viral viewership spikes and larger than expected live audiences. The last step is reaching as many devices as possible for playback. Players could be on a set-top box, internet browser, or even be a mobile app. Each of these may require a different streaming protocol and have different screen resolutions with varying bandwidth. So through converting and repackaging streams, we're able to reach the largest audience possible. And that's the process of live video streaming. A camera captures video frames in real time, an encoder compresses the data and packages it for a network, a media platform repackages the stream for players, converting content as needed. A CMS manages recordings while also monitoring and analyzing stream health. And finally, a CDN distributes the stream across the globe for players on different devices to play back from local nodes. Now, Wowza offers multiple solutions for building video technology into your products and services, so please contact us and learn how we can be the solution you start with and the partner you scale with.